بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویری گڈ مارننگ مسٹر چیئرمین ڈسٹنگوشڈ ڈیلیگیٹس لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹمین آئی ایم ویری پلیز ٹو بی ہیئر ان دا بیوٹیفل سٹی آف استنبول ایٹ دی فسٹ ایو ورلڈ ہیومینیٹیرین سمٹ اینڈ آئی اپلاٹ دی ٹرکش گورنمنٹ فار میکنگ ایکسلنٹ ارینجمنٹس for the summit and extending the traditional Turkish hospitality. This summit is taking place amidst unprecedented challenges in the global humanitarian situation. Today is therefore the time to reaffirm our faith in the paramount principles that underline humanitarian action. We, re we recommit to the centrality and continued relevance of United Nations General Assembly Resolution 46 Oblique 182 of December 1991. I wish to commend Secretary General Ban Ki-moon for bringing humanitarian action firmly on the political radar and for setting a comprehensive agenda for humanity. Mr. Chairperson, uh, Mr. Chairperson, when we speak at this forum, we do so with knowledge and first-hand experience of being host of the world's largest protracted refugee situation are having shown remarkable resilience against large-scale natural disasters. In future, we stress the need for common but differentiated responsibilities in responding to humanitarian crises at the global level. Different circumstances need and uh, needs and peculiarities of different cultures and situations must be recognized while delivering response mechanism. Refugees should not be conflated with IDPs nor migrants with refugees. Role of the states must neither be diminished nor replaced. Rather, the states should be helped proactively to further build their capacities. Mr. Chairman, we stand ready to continue working together with the states and other stakeholders towards these goals. We commit to achieve resolution of long-standing disputes, particularly those on the agenda of Security Council for durable peace and security in the world. We have hosted millions of Afghan refugees for the past four decades. We commit to work for early repatriation of the three million Afghans who are still living in Pakistan. We also commit to ensure that protracted refugee situations are neither neglected nor ignored and are given adequate attention and resources by the international community. Alongside the new crisis, Pakistan commits to work for finding equitable burden-sharing mechanism for refugee hosting nations. Ladies and gentlemen, we see prevention as one of the key, one of the keys to disaster risk reduction. Pakistan recognizes global warming and climate change as priority areas for effective action. Pakistan is one of the most disaster-prone countries in the world. Natural disasters have negatively impacted our socio-economic development. Ever since the devastating earthquake of 2005 and the floods of 2010 and 11, we have put in place an effective disaster management infrastructure that focuses on resilience and risk management. Our National Disaster Management Authority as a lead entity has done well to respond to calamitous events in the country. We are integrating gender perspective in disaster response policies. We commit to empower women and girls as leaders and agents of change. Pakistan is further committed to enhance its national capacities for disaster risk management and to proactively contribute in this regard. Ladies and gentlemen, 2016 is the year of new possibilities 
for global humanitarian system. By bridging differences, by listening to one another, and by accommodating each other's views, we can come up with a robust, focused, and more efficient global humanitarian system while preserving the abiding core principles endorsed by United Nations General Assembly Resolution 46, Oblique 182, to address the unprecedented human challenges of our times. I thank you, Chairperson.